For decades now, California has been trying to draw more of its energy from renewable resources. But this year, that green ambition is taking a hit. And as Andrea Borba shows us, you can blame the drought. Well, the, behind us is the Iron Gate Dam. It produces approximately 18 megawatts of energy. Since the 1960s, the Iron Gate Dam has been pumping energy into Northern California, complements of the Klamath River. Just unfortunately during drought years, it uh, becomes very difficult and there's a lot of individuals who are, uh, uh, need that usage of that water. So this year, on behalf of farmers and a whole lot of salmon, the federal government asked Pacific Power if they could borrow some water. The spirit of cooperation is very critical during drought years. And while that move was good for these fish, it meant a little less juice from the Iron Gate powerhouse. Yes, when there's a drought, obviously that impacts our, uh, our water uh, efforts. With the same problem unfolding on nearly every river, it's starting to change the state's energy balance. So far this year, hydropower generated in California isn't just dropping, it has actually been cut in half. Hydropower has dropped from about 20% to 10% of its contribution to California's electricity. Filling the gap has been a bit more wind power, but the bigger push is coming from natural gas, which also fuels a lot of debate, namely about the environmental impact of fracking. With renewables, we're blessed that we have the technology for free fuel, but we are uh, subject to whatever Mother Nature gives us. So the drought has delivered us yet another challenge, making up for lost wattage as one source of green energy slowly runs dry. You know, we do what we can this year and then uh, we pray and hope for a good healthy winter and then uh, we move on to the next year. Andrea Borba, KPIX 5. A little good news here. Other renewable energies are expanding. In fact, wind surpassed hydropower in California for the first time this year.